it's time to take a look at the best cheap RC cars you can currently buy in 2023. Now you may be wondering, hang on, it's only January. Isn't it a bit soon? This is true, which is why I will be doing an update video later on in the year as new products are released. This top 10 will be very similar to last year as there hasn't really been a huge amount of good, cheap releases in recent times. Now, before we take a look at number 10, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have notifications turned on as well so that you never miss out on any of my new videos. This time I will be featuring cars of various different budget levels as before, it was easy to do a top 10 under $100, but these days things are a whole lot more expensive, which is why there are some other options out there now which you can also consider and I may not have included them before. We all have different budget levels, which is why I've tried to include a decent variety of cars in this video, but I've still tried to keep the cheaper stuff closer to the top. At the number 10 spot, we have the team associated Rival MT-10. This truck is arguably the world's most durable, 3S ready budget truck. It's ultra durable and takes a beating at your local skate park. It's quick out the box on 2S and 3S. And in my opinion, it's one of the best looking RC monster trucks you can currently buy. There is a version two on the way with a different body, but if you can find the version one at a good price, go for that one because there aren't any major differences compared to the new version, apart from a new body shell. You get a brushless power system, which is easily powerful enough for this one tenth scale monster truck and excellent handling thanks to a centre diff. For those of you out there who like LED lights, this thing comes with a really nice set of LEDs, which really stand out even in the bright daylight. Just remember, you will have to provide your own 2S or 3S battery, and you don't get one in the box. You don't even get a low capacity battery to get you started, so you will have to provide your own from the start. So if you want a cool looking truck that is fast, handles well and looks epic, definitely consider the team associated rival MT-10. It is the most expensive option on this list, which is why it is at number 10, but that doesn't make it a bad thing. And if anything, it's one of the best RC trucks you can currently buy. I know this is still gonna be an expensive truck for a lot of people out there, but considering some of the competitors out there, it's still considered a cheap truck for what you're getting. This is one of my new favorite RC cars of all time. It's the Maverick Quantum RX Flux. A 4S ready brushless rally car, which not only looks impressive, but it performs great too. It's under $300 and if you didn't already know, Maverick is a brand owned by HPI and HPI have been around for years and are well known in the RC hobby and they have produced some of the best RC cars we have ever seen. It's lower down on the list with its thin body shell, slow steering servo and considering it's supposed to be used in all weather conditions it doesn't feature sealed bearings so be prepared to swap them all out if you do run in the wet and rainy conditions i found this out the hard way and after some fun in some muddy puddles i had to spend a whole evening replacing every single bearing on this budget beast Thoughts aside though, it's still an impressive and cheap masterpiece and with some minor upgrades, it has serious potential. It's big and impressive and always turns heads when I'm out bashing. This brings us on to the amazing WL Toys 144010. Now I actually said this little buggy was perfection. It even has perfection in the title of that video and that is because it is absolutely epic. Now, yes, WL Toys did upset me a little bit with their previous models. I wasn't a huge fan of those and I chose not to support them on my channel. But I can tell you for a fact, this one I will be supporting all day long. I was a huge fan of the 144001, so naturally I was going to be a huge fan of this. Now, there was a little bit of delay getting this thing released. I believe it was meant to be released last year. I think there was a shortage of components, which is why it wasn't released until 2022. Now we did have the Esheen EAT14, I believe, which again was essentially just exactly the same chassis. It was just rebranded with a brushless system, but that thing did cog a little bit. It was usable, but there was some cogging issues. Whereas with this, you get no cogging issues. And if you can see beyond that slight delay issue, this thing is great. I took this to my local BMX track and I have to say it performed great. I had so much fun with it and it handled all the jumps perfectly. I cannot stress enough how good this little buggy really is. Now I think the real question here is, would I pick the 144010 over the high boxing 901A? Oh, well, do you know what? I've been a huge fan of the 901A throughout the year, but I think I would pick the WL Toys. 
And that is because straight out the box, I think it is probably gonna be the slightly better all-rounder. It's also got more metal components, it's quicker, and I think if you're looking for an overall good all-round package, it could be the 144010. At number seven, we have the SG1603 UDIRC and Esheen range of 1 16th scale mini drifters. Now, I absolutely love the SG1603, but I do love the Pulse version a little bit more. The Pulse version is my favorite out of all of the options available. I absolutely love it, especially when it comes to styling. Now, this has to be one of the best looking RC cars I have tested out all year. I absolutely fell in love with this thing as soon as I got it out of the box. I just love that body shell. I think the red looks really good. We've got a nice big wing on the back. Styling wise, this thing is on point. If you haven't seen any of my top five or top 10 videos, this is essentially just an SG1603 under that body shell. Now Pinecone models, Esheen, UDIRC, they've all adopted exactly the same chassis and what they're doing is releasing loads of different body shells. Because these chassis are quite good and because they're very popular, people are buying these cars. Now this is really good news because what this means is there's a huge variety of different body shells out there depending on your personal taste. Personally, I really like the Lancia Delta inspired body, but that said, I think the Porsche just takes the top spot. Just like the other cars mentioned on this list, this does come ready to run straight out the box with everything you need to get you up and running. And what's nice is they do include some drift tires as well so that you can get out there and enjoy some drift in action. I didn't take the Porsche out drifting because essentially it's exactly the same chassis and I've already done videos like this time and time again. Now performance wise, I actually think the stock tires are the best bet but some people really love the included drift tires. Now there is two variants of this chassis. You've got the brushed version and the brushless version. Is it really worth considering that brushless upgrade? Now, if you're looking for outright speed, yes, I would say it is. You will be hitting 20 to 25 miles per hour. When you consider how small this little chassis is and how small these cars are, that is not a bad speed. Now that said, the brushed version also performs really well. And I actually think the brushed version performs a little bit better when it comes to drifting. It just feels like the combination of the brushed ESC and motor and the included gyro is a little bit better on the brushed version, but that's just me. Another new entry for 2023, and it has to be the Armour Senton 4x2. I went for the Senton, but the Granite and Vortex are also worth a look in the 4x2 range, as they are also excellent beginner vehicles. Who would have thought an Armour would make it onto a top 10 cheap RC car list? Why is this thing priced under $200, you may be wondering? Well, it's a watered down 3S BLX. Armour have given us two wheel drive on the 4x2 by removing the centre drive shaft, the front diffs and the front drive shafts. Surely this is a bad thing you may be wondering. Well no because they've also swapped out the free SBLX power system for a low powered brush setup and the truck in its stock form is actually a lot of fun. Armour created this platform to serve as an ideal way for beginners to start out in the hobby and as they progress slowly start upgrading the truck until it's back to being brushless and four wheel drive. They sell a conversion kit which does make the truck four wheel drive again but then you do need to source your own brushless electronics. Now if you think you're going to want more power and more speed to begin with don't even consider one of these just get the free SBLX from the start. In the long run it's probably going to be the cheaper option. I got this truck for my four year old and recently converted it to brushless using a Hobbywing Max 10 SCT and now it is seriously epic. If you don't like buying stuff from Banggood or hate waiting weeks for cars to arrive from China then just go for this armour as parts will also be readily available at your local hobby store. Well done armour, I like this budget range a lot and would love to see more companies doing the same. At number five we have got the MJX HyperGo Brushed. Now I absolutely love these little trucks. Everything Everything you need to get you up and running is included in the box. Now you get a smart battery in the box but it's not great so I would recommend having a look at some alternative LiPo batteries which will work on the truck perfectly now that they have updated the ESC. On-road performance is perfectly acceptable. You will get between 22 to 24 miles per hour which is absolutely fine considering this is a beginner truck. Now you can upgrade later on if you want, potentially to a brushless system, but if you're just starting out, this truck is gonna be perfect out the box. Off-road performance is also really good. 
thanks to those oil filled shocks. You're going to be able to jump this thing, you're going to be able to abuse it at skate parks and it will definitely hold up. At number 4 is the High Boxing or HBX 901A. In my opinion this is one of the best mini RC desert trucks of all time. It handles well being very lightweight, it's durable and very fast even on the included 2S battery. Again everything you need to get you up and running is included in the box. Now on road performance really really good. I tested this thing out on 2S and I also tested it out on 3S and I know a lot of people out there said can you use 3S on this long term? Well I've been using this thing on and off for a few months now and I haven't had any issues yet. Off-road performance is really good, those shocks feel really nice and overall it just feels like a really solid little truck and considering it's quite small it's a very balanced all-rounder. An excellent little desert buggy and I think it's still one of my favourite cheap RC cars you can buy this year. If you're new to RC then let me introduce you to this incredible little RC truck. This thing has proved to be one of the most durable RC cars ever and year after year there is nothing out there that can compete when it comes to low cost, incredible durability and excellent performance for beginners. The truck is 1 16th scale so it's not the biggest thing out there but it's extremely lightweight and built like a tank. This is thanks to HBX using flexible plastics on their components which can take an absolute beating without breaking as often as some of the other options out there. Now this is important especially for beginners as durability is something you will want if you're just starting out. If you go for the brushed version you will probably need to upgrade the shock straight away as I've never been a fan of the included friction shocks but they're good enough to get you up and running. Other upgrades such as metal drive shafts are also available and parts are available from pretty much anywhere these days. If you would prefer to have all the upgrades straight out the box then go for the 16889A, the Pro Brushless version which is fully loaded with all the upgrades and is brushless for even more speed and power. In the box you get everything you need to get you up and running including the transmitter, a 1000mAh 2S LiPo battery with charger, black and white manual and some extra accessories. Let's talk about speed then, now with the stock brush setup you will be looking at speeds of around 18 miles per hour which is more than enough for most people but if you think you will be craving a little bit more the brushless version can easily reach speeds up to 24 miles per hour. This truck is a great choice for anyone and it doesn't matter if you're just starting out or you own some more expensive RC cars this one will always put a smile on your face and best of all it's small enough to throw into a backpack and take it anywhere. Moving on we have the MJX HyperGo brushless. I placed this at the number one spot last year as the best cheap RC car you can currently buy. And what's great about the MJX HyperGo brushless is you can get the truggy version, the buggy version or the monster truck version. But when there are so many great options out there what makes these things so special? Well it's impressive when it comes to on-road performance, managing speeds up to 40 miles per hour on the included 3S battery which is one of the fastest speeds I have seen on a cheap RC truck of this size. This is thanks to the 4200 kV brushless motor and 45 amp ESC helping to propel this tiny truck to those impressive top speeds. There's zero cogging on and off road and everything feels super smooth and it's very easy to drive. This truck is the result of lots of in-depth testing and feedback received by customers and RC YouTubers including myself who reviewed the first brushed version and passed on all the comments to MJX to make any relevant changes. MJX listened and they've left out the somewhat gimmicky GPS features instead making an optional GPS package for those of you out there who still want the GPS functions. If you're looking for an excellent upgrade platform which is already very capable out of the box then this is the one to buy. In the box you've got everything you need to get you up and running including a 2S or a 3S 1050 milliamp hour LiPo depending on which version you go for. A USB charger, a black and white manual plus some spare accessories. The truck features metal oil filled shocks, metal drive shafts, metal center drive shaft, wheelie bar which you will need to fit using the included screws, a rear wing which again you will need to fit yourself, a adjustable turnbuckles and a whole lot more. Overall quality of this truck is excellent and it definitely shows. Off-road performance is fun and it feels good on 2S and I think that's more than enough power for most people. I have no doubt these things would also do well at your local skate park 
as they are made from excellent quality and flexible plastics. You can pick up the MJX HyperGo brushed versions for around £100 or $100 and the brushless versions for £115 which is about $140. So would I pick this over the incredible 16889 that we spoke about previously? Well yes if you're looking for speed this is going to be quicker on 2S and 3S straight out the box. At the number one spot there can only be one current leader and it has to be the Rilalo AMX12. It's one of the most epic RC buggies I have ever featured on my channel. Now I'm not only saying this because they've sent me this for free to review here on the channel, this thing is seriously impressive and it easily beats anything we've seen from WL Toys. This is mostly due to the quality of the buggy itself and the components. When I reviewed this it was clear that Rilalo have taken on board all the feedback from their previous models and listened to all the people crying out for WL Toys to make changes to their latest models but WL Toys continue to ignore their fans and just push out low quality quality products which half the time have skipped the quality control part of production. Back to the buggy then and let's check out all the features this chassis actually comes with. Now we've got a 3200 kV brushless motor and we have actually got an adjustable motor mount this time which is really nice to see, I like that a lot. We've got a 45 amp 2S and 3S ready ESC, we've got a micro servo and a standalone receiver. Now on some of the previous models we've seen a two-in-one ESC and receiver unit, so it's nice to know we've now got a standalone receiver. Carbon fibre shock towers front and rear, adjustable turnbuckles if you want to adjust your camber and toe, metal CVD drive shafts at the front, standard dog bones on the rear. Now we've got front and rear sway bars, a metal centre drive shaft with a brand new slipper clutch system, like I said before an adjustable motor to mount and finally a carbon fiber chassis. The wheels and tires feel nice and they should be nice and grippy. They are a little bit different to what you get on the purple buggy. They're actually a lot similar to what you get on the WL Toys. Overall an impressive little buggy and with features like the adjustable motor mount, fitting aftermarket electronics to get even more performance out of this buggy is going to be really easy. This buggy is 2S and 3S ready and on 2S you can expect to achieve speeds of around 39 miles per hour and 50 miles per hour on 3S. Just bear in mind, when I filmed that video, it was raining and it was wet, so the chances are you will achieve even more speed. So impressive top speeds and with some upgrades, it will be capable of even more. Now honestly, I struggle to find any flaws with this thing and it really is one of the greatest ready to run cheap buggies I have ever featured on my channel. Now you may be wondering, hang on a minute, this thing isn't cheap. Well at $200 using my discount code, it's still cheap compared to something from Armour and Traxxas and to achieve similar speeds, you would have to spend way over $300 or $300. Pounds. People have different opinions on what is considered cheap, but considering what you get with this buggy, it is certainly cheap. This thing is a masterpiece, and if Rilalo keep releasing products like this, WL Toys will not be around for much longer. There we go then, that was my first top 10 cheap RC car video of 2023. You may not agree with all my choices, but I have tried and tested all the cars featured in this list, and they've all impressed me. The AMX12 by Rilalo is the current king in my opinion, and and even though people are still complaining about spending $200 on it, I think it's completely worth it. And when you look at some of the other decent fast options out there for the same money, well really, there isn't a huge amount. You can pick the Rilalo up for $200 using my code BEYONDRC and I will leave links down below in the description. Another car that's really surprised me already is the Maverick Quantum RX Flux. That is now one of my daily bashers and I absolutely love it. I take it with me everywhere and being 4S ready and under $300, I think it's insane. There's something for everyone on every budget in this top 10, but let me know if I've missed anything that you would like me to consider on my next one. Cheers for watching, take care. Now don't go anywhere, why not check out my top 10 cheap RC cars for 2022 by clicking on the first video or click on the bottom video if you want to see me turn the budget Armour Senton 4x2 Mega into a 3S brushless beast.